true. But never you alone. This world is but the dream that you can be alone and think without affecting those apart from you. To be alone must mean you are apart. And if you are, you cannot but be sick. This seems to prove that you must be apart. It all it means is that you try to keep a promise to be true to faithlessness. Yet faithlessness is sickness. It is like the house set upon straw. It seems to be quite solid and substantial in itself. Yet its stability cannot be judged apart from its foundation. If it rests on straw, there is no need to bar the door and lock the windows and make fast bolts. The wind will topple it, and rain will come and carry it into oblivion. Wow. And isn't that that little piggy story with the rain and stuff? Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. Story. You know, I was thinking, though, of the United States at that point when it's, I mean, I, particularly this election has been very mean-spirited. And then it just seems to, like, we just attack everybody. I mean, we hate French, we hate Germany, we hate everybody. The only one we like is Poland. we got people named kind of went into it. kind of went into an attack spiral here. It's kind, <coughs> of what the, it's kind of what the Course is saying. You know, you, you start justifying attack, and pretty soon you're justifying all its attack, and it just spirals yeah. attack, counterattack, yeah. attack, yeah. counterattack. You know, now we're, like, getting frenzied here. There isn't anyone that isn't an enemy. Once we decided to go after the, you know, it's like everything has really gotten out of hand. But, but still, it's let peace begin with me. Yeah. So it's how like, important it is to do this. But how, if you don't have this information, you don't even realize how you're contributing to yeah. that lack of peace. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I've prayed saying that song for 20 years in church, you know, and with sincerity. And yet went right out and contributed with attack and you know, just by feeling unfairly treated. Yeah. Yeah, we kinda need some further instructions on exactly how do I make peace. There you go. <laughs> what is peace again? And how does it start with me? And what is creation? Luckily we have more instructions. Yeah. <laughs> how do we make peace and what does peace feel like? <laughs> really, that's all this is is instructions on how to make peace. And, and let peace be your part. It really is. Right. But that's an individual effort, and I realize that, and I mean to take it out of the realm of my responsibility for my own space, but it's just that sometimes when I'm reading this, I... You see it in the... It's in macrocosm the, and microcosm. You see the same thing going in, in our, uh, uh, between each of our individual relationships and in our heart is going on a massive scale between countries between groups of right, racial groups, between it's the same ideas of I'm unfairly treated, my attack on you is justified. Then they're then they are saying, no, you just attacked me. Now my attack on you is justified. Right. And then oh wait a minute, no now I have even better reason to attack you. <laughs> yeah. And and you know just to apply this to the world, um, it also works there. It's like if, if instead of defending our body. We use our body to, to heal others. So if we used our resources to heal the world, everything would be healed. And everyone and would be better exactly off. Exactly the same thing exactly. that we're doing. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Tim. <laughs> what is the sense in seeking to be safe in what was made for danger and for fear? Mm. Why burden it with further locks and chains and heavy anchors when its weakness lies not in itself, but in the frailty of the little gap of nothingness whereon it stands. What can be safe that rests upon a shadow? Would you build your home upon what will collapse beneath a feather's weight? Good questions. Got only the answers. Yeah, I think you're making sense here. Yeah. Okay. We're being stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not do it. Let's not build our picky home on straw. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Judy. 
Well, I, I was just curious, oh, yeah. in, in the sense of seeking to be safe, aren't, aren't we supposed to acknowledge that, that we are safe? That question is applying to when we're following the ego's plan of safety. Oh, right. okay. You need its yeah. big defenses bolt the door. Right. Sure and he's like, now you're trying to be safe when you're sitting on a house made of straw. Right. What's right. the point? You're, right. you're not going to be safe if you continue to believe all you are is a body, no matter what you do, no matter how big your guns are, no matter how strong your bolts are. Okay. That's great. Yeah.